was about 11 years old, I and the family moved to a certain area, and I, uh, before the house was finished, uh, it was out on the border of things, and I went one morning in May down across the creek, and there was a meadow there of lilies, white lilies. And there were crickets there, and uh, butterflies. Um, there were woodlands in the background, woodlands that extended for extensive um, way. That, um, that scene is something that I, of course, I did not reflect on fully at that uh, period in my childhood. But it stuck with me, uh, has stuck with me all my life, and somehow deep in my unconscious, I brooded over that scene. And I've come to a kind of an awareness that that experience of the meadow has conditioned all my thinking. That is a good economics that is integral with the functioning of the meadow. An economics that violates the meadow is to me not a good economics. A good politics is what preserves that meadow and enables it to be protected from um, excessive intrusion or devastation by humans. And that is a good religion that um, gives me some appreciation of the depth of meaning and the mystery of the matter. Uh, that is a good education that reveals to me, uh, enables that matter to uh, speak to me or to um, um, give me an understanding and a sense of the poetry of the meadow. Listen to the sermon preached to you by the flowers, the trees, the shrubs, the sky, and the whole world. Notice how they preach to you a sermon full of love, of praise of God, and how they invite you to glorify the sublimity of that sovereign artist who has given them being. St. Paul of the Cross. Take a moment this week to welcome nature into your life. Listen to the sermon around you. Share with us what you see or hear in words or photos at facebook.com slash passionistshcp.